He's been on like most of them. Yeah. It's not like. <laughs> It's Chrome here. So uh, this year has been extremely weird, and I almost my content on this channel is vlogs. And because of COVID nineteen, I haven't been able to vlog because most of my vlogs happen at conventions, and conventions haven't been happening. So uh, I had an idea before uh, COVID and like all the quarantine stuff happened where I would take my friends and make the- and turn them into cosplays from fandoms they're not a part of. <laughs> and I don't know why I thought about this, it just came randomly. I don't know if anybody else has done this before, I'm sure people have, but I thought it would be fun to do. Uh, and seeing as I am one of the only Homestuck friends in the group, I decided to make my friends into Homestuck characters. So this will be a three-part series for my three friends, one video for each of them, turning them into a different beta kid from Homestuck. If you don't know what Homestuck is, Homestuck is a webcomic made by Andrew Hussey. I'm not going to explain it because there's a lot to explain and I don't want to do it. So the first video is going to be turning my friend Corinne into Rose because I, out of all the beta kids, I think she's she's a Rose. <laughs> I think it fits her aesthetic. I think it, I think it fits well with her. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello. So this is Corinne. She's been in some of my vlogs before. She was in my latest. She's been on like most of them. Yeah. It's not. Like <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's my introduction. This is Corinne. She's been in a lot of my vlogs uh, and stuff like that. So you've known, you've seen her before. She is gonna be Rose today. So the way this is going to work is she's already done a lot of her makeup. I'm She's going to complete her makeup while here. And I have some facts about Rose that I will share with her since she doesn't really know much about Homestuck. I got these from the Wikipedia page because I am a great student. I also got it from a YouTube video and some Tumblr pages. And I will link them all down below so you guys can go check them out if you want to. And yeah. I'm going to look up a picture of what she looks like so I know what to do with makeup. Um, That's not gonna help you out that much. She's though, is literally it? Just I know. A 2D. <laughs> well, <laughs> I want to get yeah, a feel um, for her character. Oh, she's so cute, isn't she? Oh, I love her. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You so. can't. But you don't. You can't really, I usually just do purple. Anyway. So. Okay. Cool. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Okay. So, Rose Lalonde. She is the second character you, second character you're officially introduced to after John, because John was the first character introduced into Homestuck. Uh, she's, so they all start out at the age 13, mm -hmm. but around the time the comic ends, she's about, like, 21. Nice, okay. Yeah. So, her birthday is December 4th, 1995, okay. making her a Sagittarius. Oh, no! Which, Not me, too! <laughs> also a Sagittarius. Okay. Um, so, all of the kids have guardians. Yes. Um... Her guardian is her mother. Another thing that's common with the kids is that their relations with their guardians aren't that great. Uh, Rose's mom happens <laughs> to be an alcoholic. Oh, same. I should also preference, there's gonna be... <laughs> <laughs> I'm with my dad, not my mom. But... There's gonna be, spoiler alert for Homestuck, obviously. I also probably won't get into the epilogues or Homestuck 2 as much, just because it's horrible. But, yeah, I also should say... I'm sorry, Rose is the only character I don't have an official shirt for. That's I apologize. Fine. But yeah. And so, yeah, I'll get more into the mom later. Uh, because mm -hmm. something comes up later involving the mom, so I'll get to that later. So, all of the kids at some point started getting pestered, is what they say, by trolls, which are the other characters in Homestuck. Uh, because the kids session of the game is what caused the troll session of the game to fail and so the trolls were like we're gonna mess up their session and so four trolls decided to pester all the four kids and rose's patron troll which is what they're called was kanaya Merriam, who is the virgo troll and we also talk about kanaya later because she plays a huge role Ugh, fucking virgos with rose <laughs> our other friends are over there waiting and our one friend is a virgo so Ugh. That's why Loser. she said it. Um, so they all have weapons, because this is a game. It's a game based on fighting and all that stuff. They, it's known as a strife specimus, I'm pretty sure. Um, and it's basically, they have like a certain type of weapon they use. 
Hers is called uh, Needle Kind. Basically, her weapons are knitting needles because oh, she likes to so knit. Sick. And she, at first, mainly used them for stabbing. But as it, the uh, webcomic progressed, she started using them for magic. So she both stabbed people with it and blasted magic out of it. I love that for her. Honestly, Sam. She's great. Uh, so her god tier, which is basically the highest level you can get in the game they're playing... Mm-hmm. So, her god tier is Seer of Light, and you probably don't know what that means, so I, I know, I'll help you know, I'll help you. Okay, so, cool. as a seer, it, the seer is the class, and it's knower of all fortune, they see the most fa- uh, favorable path, and they're a very passive class, and then as a light player, they're based on fortune, illumination, clarity, and importance, so basically Rose's role is to see the best outcomes for the game and help people go down those paths. Kind of like how in Infinity War, Doctor Strange was like, oh, fuck yeah. I know what path to take you on, and he did. So, nice. basically, that's her role in the game. Good for me. <laughs> uh, they all play instruments of some kind, sort of. Rose plays the violin. It's very nice. Oh, She's very nice at it. Bad memories. Uh, Karen played the violin at one point in her life. <laughs> it was awful. Yeah. And then I was like, mm, maybe I should not do that <laughs> with my life. Yeah. Um, so she had a cat named Jasper. Oh, the Confederate. <laughs> 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 so she had a cat named Jasper, and one day he told her a secret, and then he vanished. And then was That's found- like my cat. Dead next to a river. Oh, let's hope not. <laughs> so, uh, her mother helped bury him, and they built a mausoleum for this cat. I remember this. Corinne has read a little bit of Homestuck. And I, so, yeah. they had this mausoleum built for this cat. But then later in the game, a uh, part of the game is you have to have this, like, spirit, mm-hmm. sprite type thing help you out throughout the game. And you have to prototype it with something... That's either, like, an object or something that's dead. And so Rose, is cat, is put into it. Which makes Jasper Sprite the little thing that follows her around and helps her through the game. Fun. To help her, yeah. She lives in a mansion with her mother in the woods in New York. Somewhere in New York. I think there's... Ah, yes. There's elusive woods in New York. I think there's a, like, certain destination she is. I don't know where it is. She likes wizards and writing. Also knitting. (laughs) We're the same person. I get it now. <laughs> yeah. So, back to Kanaya. Kanaya does end up becoming her girlfriend. <laughs> nice. So, they start dating. It's very nice if you ignore Homestuck 2. Well, that's what we're gonna oh. do. Because, so, everything after the main Homestuck webcomic is, like, not really canon. And so, we're not gonna, we're gonna pretend it doesn't exist. And they have, they got married at the end of the Homestuck. It was a very nice wedding, and it was great. Okay. Um, so there's this thing that happens to Rose, which is called her becoming grimdark. There are these things in Homestuck called horror terrors, and from what I can remember about horror terrors is that they're basically just these monster creature type things, and they can, like, whisper to you and all this stuff. What are you looking for? Uh, the black lipstick. Oh, that you just bought. Oh, I, did, I didn't buy that one, but I do have another oh. one. Yeah. Thanks. Um, so there are things called the horror terrors, and they Ooh. can, like, whisper to you and all this stuff. So what happens is Rose's mother ends up being killed oh, by one of the her. main bad guys, Jack Noir. He... <laughs> <laughs> it's Jack Black. No! <laughs> so he ends up killing Rose's mother and John's dad, and she sees it because she has this crystal ball. And she sees it happen, and that causes her to grow grimdark, which basically means she loses, like, she isn't clear in the head anymore. She can't even speak clearly. She's just really gone. She goes off the deep end, and I honestly can't remember how she gets out of it, but she does at some point. Does she commit a lot of crimes? She does try to kill Jack Noir, but I think he kills her first. <laughs> There's a lot of death in Homestuck. That sucks. But she wasn't officially dead, so it's okay. Another thing about Rose is that a lot of her stuff <coughs> is based around H.P. Uh, Lovecraft. Related no, things. not the cat. Sorry, but it had to be said. Listen, I love Homestuck. I, the creator is kind of iffy, I'm not gonna lie. 
Uh, but she likes, uh, like, she's really into, like, Cthulhu, and she's really into all of that, like, dark, mysterious, like, stuff and whatever that, like, H.P. Lovecraft is kind of known for. Yeah. And she's kind of really into all that stuff. Um, her personality is kind of, like, she's a little bit pessimistic, <laughs> and she can be, like, cold at times, but also pretty logical. Um, she also likes to be weird, but she doesn't really do it around people. Um... Also, at one point in Homesick, she kind of became an alcoholic. Aww. Uh, so they were on this meteor for three years. <laughs> I forgot why they're on the meteor. They're on the <sighs> meteor for three years, and at some point, she, like, um, alchemized alcohol. Great. And then became an alcoholic for a bit. But then the timeline was reset, and she wasn't an alcoholic anymore. That's perfect. So it's okay. Um, at some point in the comics, there are these banners that represent all the kids, and all of them have quotes with them. I wrote these down because they get funnier as they progress through the kids, and so yours, for the one for Rose, is a quote from The Wasteland by T.S. Eliot. Yeah. Which I thought I would tell you at least because I say all the ones for the other kids, and so I thought I would, I would tell you that. Okay. So yeah, those are all the uh, Rose quotes Fun. I wrote down. Yeah. How do you okay. feel? How do you feel about Rose? Um... I feel like we're very similar mm -hmm. as people. Yeah. Uh, except for the whole alcoholic part, because I would hope not. Yes. It, like I said, it would happen because they were literally on a meteor for three years, and a lot of stuff was happening, and then she was like, what if I tried to make alcohol appear? And then it worked, and then things went bad. Yeah. So. Yeah. And then can I try to help her out of it? Because she was being a good girlfriend. Aww. Yeah. They're very cute. I really like them together. And, uh, there was a lot of theories that Rose be going grimdark was a parallel to when Kanaya officially became a rainbow drinker, which is what vampires are We're called. We're gonna have to talk about that one in detail. What the hell? Okay. So, every- So, the trolls in Homestuck are based off of the Hemo Spectrum, which is the blood- oh. Yeah. <laughs> the blood class you're in. And so Kanaya is right around the middle as a jade blood, uh, which means that every single jade blood has the ability to become a rainbow drinker. <laughs> and yeah. that's basically just being a vampire, but they're known as rainbow drinkers because all of the trolls have rainbow blood. Okay. And so, yeah, so around the time that Rose was becoming grimdark. Kanaya was also becoming a rainbow drinker because she was killed and then came back as a rainbow drinker because Aridin killed her. Not Aridin. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, so that's Rose. How do you feel? I feel rosified. You, <laughs> you look great. I Thank think you, you look really, really good it as Rose. You. It does. I, I think you look really, sexy. really nice. Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, so Corinne doesn't really know much about Homestuck. I don't know, like, a rating of, like, 1 to 10. How Zero. About, okay. 1. Well, she read a little bit of Homestuck, because I kind of made her read a little bit of Homestuck, and also I talk about it sometimes. Yeah. So, yeah. I didn't make it that far into it. I got a little distracted. Yeah. Well, because you, you were doing, like, the Let's Read Homestuck. You weren't actually like, reading it. You were listening to it. No, people. I couldn't read it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the end of... The video with Corinne for Rose. Hello. So, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please go watch the other two videos. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> See you guys later. Alright, bye. <laughs>